All right, let's uh, let's do sealed. All right, thanks to my sponsor, Card Kingdom, and uh, to Wizards of the Coast. I got to get my uh, Wizards of the Coast sponsorship tag up. We're gonna jump into another sealed 2020 core set. Let's check it out. Leyline of the Void, classic that we do not need to play. Another dungeon, guys. We just had some good success with that. Uh, Broker of Blood, we ran in an earlier build, but didn't ever really see, or not that we could ever cast. Shifting Ceratops. Let's see, what does this do? 5-4 four for 4. Can't be countered. Pro Blue. And gains your choice of reach, trample, or haste until end of turn. That's just a solid anti-blue type of card right there. And this is another, we, we, we saw this and we opened this before and didn't really play it. Doesn't seem like where we want to be. Uh, but maybe we're green-black. We'll see. Temple of Milady. Let's also now go look at Uncommons as the next step. Here's the Scholar of the Ages that I want to do the shenanigans with that Sacrifice spell in black with. Bounce Scholar with Wave Crasher. That seems not abusable enough. Eh, not really main deck. Neither is this. Gauntlets of Light. Weird, but okay, and still the liability of auras. Scorcher, 1-1. One, one. So... Three one one haste. Rapacious dragon. Brontodon is nice. Pulse is fine. This is just okay. Need some tokens to get anything out of that. Uh, what do we got with this saddle? So this is a three three for four that can be re-equipped. Elsewhere and makes it tough to block. Pattern matcher. That seems bad for our situation. Well, uncommons don't seem great either, if we're honest. This kind of looks like a really weak, weakish pool. Yeah, Brontodon's fine. I guess now we go look at color by color. Oh, but I just want to see commons now. Hmm. Some decent white. Nothing super exciting, but playable. Can't really curve out very well here, though. Yeah. Some okay blue. Really like the Seer. Two Sleep Paralysis for removal. Bone to Ash. Card draw. Blue looks fine. Good good five drop flyer. No murder. Just a siphon. Yeah, black doesn't look great when it doesn't have bunch of murder in it, does it? This all, this looks okay. It's pretty, it's pretty splashable. Just don't have the murder you want to see to really be pulled into black. Skeptical Hat asks, in your opinion, was Clay a big enough individual influence that we, the players, will notice that notice he's not at the wheel anymore? 
it's not how I would phrase it. I would say that Clay was a, w w had a huge influence on this game, and uh, if nobody stepped in to do Clay's job, you would notice you would you would notice incredibly, right? But it's not like the work he was doing isn't going to be getting done by others. So I don't think you're going to you won't necessarily notice that he's not at the wheel, but it doesn't mean that. It's because he was not impactful in his role, if that makes sense. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it'll be... I think the uh, ultimate design direction is... It's not going to be that uh, detectable, but maybe. It's hard to know what is... Ah, this is a... This is because Clay's not there anymore versus this is just a thing that happened, you know? It's hard to assign causality to that stuff. Uh, I, I kind of like, want to try red. It doesn't look that much better, though. I don't know. What if I hate everything? What if we? What if all of our colors stink? Play them all, I guess. Two of these looks nice. Yeah, I guess green. Let me try green red. Anton asks, what do you think? Is the historic format finally going to be ranked, or is it very unprofitable for Watsi? I don't know what you mean by finally going to be ranked when it hasn't even made an appearance as unranked yet. Uh, do you, if you mean eventually. Um, I don't know. It depends on what they want out of that format. I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of a garbage one. Let's go with uh, green red. I'm gonna build a green red deck real quick and see what we can do with it. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna go all in aggro. Don't think that's gonna be very good, but. Spitfire, oh, whatever, sure, sure. Hmm, one more card. Maybe this one? Yeah, Nick says, I wouldn't expect a lot from Historic, at least at first. I suspect they'll occasionally cycle it through as an additional constructed event format, but it'll never get too much spotlight. And that's because uh, non-rotating eternal formats make Wizards less money because people can buy decks for them and stand pat. And so they don't have a huge interest in incentivizing play on arena outside of standard but at the same time you've programmed all these cards so they're going to want them to exist and be playable in something meaningful try this rare just because i mean we know this kind of type of thing it's not going to be that good a bunch of fives Eh, 
I'm gonna try this just to uh, see if it helps with the late game stall. Give this a shot. Which golem? I missed uh, which one we're talking about. Wouldn't Watsy want anyone starting today to go back and buy as much as possible from the past? Well, no, uh, because the past is the secondary market. Watsy doesn't make anything from the secondary market. Now, digitally, of course, they can make money from the past by selling the past, but you really, I don't think it's just obvious that that's the approach you want to take, that, that like, m Magic players... Uh, I'm gonna mulligan this. Uh, only have a certain budget. We'll keep this. Um, gosh, I want all of this. But actually, I'm gonna not bother with the champ. Yeah, just in general, you want to be keeping the focus of your player base forward. New, new, new. Well, I binned my two drop. And getting a bit run over here. This will help. I know. I was talking about in general, though reset press and and if you're if you're promoting, ain't you just don't ever want to be promoting old cards, really. Your Wizards is only interested in promoting their new stuff. Uh, they promote like you'd look at how on Magic Online they rolled out old sets a little bit over time, but I I don't know if they want to do it that way here. Well, we could do this, uh, make a 3-3 three, three that creates two treasure, then next turn we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we could play uh, two aeronauts. I'm gonna do this. I get it, but what I mean is no, I'm not saying they, they just want players to experience newness. I'm saying they want players to experience the current stuff. Just because a card from 1997 is new to a new Magic player doesn't mean that that is satisfying Wizards' goals for exposing players to the new, quote, new stuff. Um, yeah, I can move. How about we were, I was hanging out up here. I think we make this trade. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as we counted before. So we could do silverback plus greenwood, which with what we're trying to block actually makes sense because these are better than the greenwood sentinel, but are going to die the same way to these. So let's go uh, silverback and sentinel.
but bringing older sets to arena is not something they're just going to toss off right it has to be part of a a big broader strategy and destination for where they want arena to be in n years or whatever you're not just going to be like hey because we can let's throw some amonkhet up it's like what's where do you want to end up what are you trying to accomplish where are you headed Let's see if we can win through the air. Sure, we'll make this block. Uh, when making your sealed deck, do you focus on building around your rares or do you look for your bread? Well, first, bread is not a particularly useful concept in my mind, so I never look for my bread. But I would say that uh, my approach to sealed deck building is to look for the strongest overall deck I think I can find. And usually that means taking advantage of your best rares. Not always. I have, a, I have abandoned excellent rares, excellent mythics, because they just didn't fit what was going on with the rest of the pool. But ideally, you're playing all your rares, playing your best stuff. But it's case by case. was that? Oh, this, was that our kitties or pets? They don't do anything except hang out over here, though, huh? All right. Play that. Uh, I don't know how we win here. Let's see. I guess it's probably not by attacking with uh, with that stuff. I'm gonna leave one back to try and trade with this caretaker. And then we need to put Brontodon and Spitfire on the ambusher. Can't really beat a uh, combat trick, but we're giving it our best shot here. Going down to one, even if they don't have anything. Actually, that's all she wrote. I'm gonna give him credit for figuring out to attack with everything. Move on here. Actually, if it's yeah, 15 minutes to draft, maybe I'll take a little pre-draft break or something. I feel like I got a long day ahead.
and I kind of screwed up. I had uh, coffee uh, much later into the afternoon than I usually have coffee, and it meant I wasn't sleeping last night till well after like 1, one thirty, which is way late for me. I'm a 11 o'clock go-to-bed guy these days. So I'm dragging a little bit here. We're going to keep this, see if we can find some green. Eh, it's a little bit of a loose keep with two double green and no green yet, but maybe part of the low stakes of the event creeping in. I didn't see a ton of lands in the yard support. It's kind of interesting that they made that the theme of modern in modern horizons and uh, are now kind of touching on it a little bit here. Boy, we just need uh, forest, forest, and then we're we're looking great. Ish. Shock that right out of the sky. Hey, we found our forest. Now we just need the other one on top. Um, nothing to return, so we'll play the Sentinel. All sorts of Sentinels all around. I'm going to attack. It's basically a free attack for us. Bluff called. Hey, Rob. Good to see you. Good time zone to you. Uh-oh. A Johnny gains life. Uh, make cat soldier token. Uh, okay, makes pride mates and... Uh, has a big zero, big, big ultimate if you can get to 35. That's a lot. There is no greater treasure than quiet times with friends. I can't beat Najani? My pride grows stronger. Maybe not. Well, if I was gonna, it would start there, huh? I guess actually I'm going to start the aeronaut so we can fly over at uh, a giant. Also, I think what I'm going to do is start by lowering this desk. Ah, already feeling it in the legs. I don't want to hurt you. Do this. <sighs> All right, I'm going to call this one 
actually, and I need a little break. I'm gonna take a little eight minute break here and put up a Be Right Back screen. I might come back and music it up, but I'm gonna be back in a bit, back at the top of the hour for a draft, okay? Uh, and then we'll tuck in for that. So back in a bit. <laughs> 